Hello, today we got the new Super Titan, uh, it's the Light Titan Solaris. We have not got uh, any Super Titans in a lot of time, so it's the first Super Titan from Light. It's expected that at some point we will get a Super Titan for Darkness. The manner to get it is via the shop, by the shop coin. I think it's achievable to get the Super Titan as a 3 star, because you cannot get it as a 1 or 2 star, it's directly as a 3 star. Okay, one important point is uh, this: the number of coins you need to level up this uh, titan it will be much more expensive than the normal hero and the normal titan like usually to get five stars you need to spend forty thousand of these sub coins in this case forty thousand will give you only four stars so getting five star or getting max out is really is going to be really expensive okay i don't think like uh, everyone will be able to do it okay being, being completely honest i think getting four stars will be already an achievement which means you need to have 15,000 of soft coins, but get going to five or impox max out it will be like almost impossible. Okay, take this into account. Okay, so what is this titan or what it does? If we go here, okay, so Solaris, what it does is uh, for all the light titans and also with the ally with the lower health, okay, during four seconds. It will avoid stuns and this is very important when we fight against Molo and particularly against Nova. Okay, finally it does damage, like half of his attacks go to the center and then it creates a pillar of damage. As a weapon, it's similar to Hyperion, it does health regeneration, so similar to Hyperion in this case. Okay, and skins are a physical attack. Okay, so it's a hero that does damage and hero that prevents stuns and a hero which weapon will regenerate. So it's a Super Titan, okay? Okay, so I already have the opportunity to fight against uh, this Titan because uh, one guildmate already got it max out, okay, or close to max out. You see, 135,000 is close by to max out. As you see, Solaris does a lot of damage, okay, and also provides a lot of healing, indeed, more than Iyari, okay, when you are with. Uh, the whole titan, so as you see, it's a very, very strong titan. You can see a replay, and I play my titans are not strong at all, but it will give you an idea of how this works. So, what I realized is it was easy for me to kill earth titans, but it was difficult for me to to kill the remaining light titans, like almost impossible. As you will see now, despite I am uh, Araji's ultimating, like I'm not able to go through them because of the def extra defense that uh, Light Titans has against water, earth, and fire. Okay. So after testing this and say, okay, these stands are very strong, what I have done is in the broad here, yeah, what I have done is in defense, I have used the three white Titans and the two uh, dark Titans. Okay. I have not lost any battle. I have not lost. Uh, any defense, the only one time I lost I mean the journal is because I was testing against that particular exactly team. I wanted to know if it was possible to kill the team. So all light titans and dark and dark titans using earth titans, but as you see it was not possible. But anything else, you see all the time I have using this combination of light, dark titans, and that's it. And I was able to kill almost any type of combination and also when someone has tried to attack me, they have failed. Okay, you can see here like how much damage Solaris does. Okay, so this is the thing. So yes, 100% having Solaris will improve uh, a much stronger hero only by its own. And also if you are able to, to combine with Light Titans, it will be also super strong. So yes, it's a recommended Titan. I think it's super strong. But at the same time, I would like to, to point out one thing, right? Like imagine you would like to go with the Light Titans. Okay, and then you need these four light titans, so these three light titans, Solaris, Amon, and Iyari. Okay, these are nine artifacts. How you get these nine artifacts? The main resource is gold and dust, and dust is much more expensive than gold. It's much more difficult to, uh, to find it, okay? So usually you get through killing all the heads of Hydra. This is the most important thing your guild should do, okay? And one month of killing all the heads of Hydra will give you enough dust to build up one artifact, okay? So you need three months to max out the artifacts of one titan. Okay, this is the cheap and easy manner to get this. There is an alternative, 
which is you can go to the altar of elements and you can op open the spheres as you see right now they are in discount 55 percent discount which is cost you only 4050 to open 100 so the question here is how much does i get opening 100 so the answer is you get by probability because it's based on probability you get around 3942 dust so it means like one emerald gives you less than one dust okay so we are going to simplify this to say one emerald gives you one dust but it's worse than this okay in other words to be able to max out one uh, one artifact of a titan you need to spend around 250,000 emeralds to max out a titan you need to spend 750,000 emeralds so really this is very 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 expensive okay for what is return is very 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 expensive so if we are talking about look i cannot wait nine months to focus on my light titan which is what it costs you you want to max out the artifact via uh, hydra heads you will need to spend approx 750k emeralds for each titan okay we are talking about 2,250,000 emeralds to max out the artifacts of three titans okay leaving aside the gold Okay, because this will give you dust, but leaving aside the, uh, the gold part. Okay, so this is the thing. In my case, I am still fighting to be able to max out the basic uh, heroes for uh, fire, earth, and water that I need in dungeon. And having dungeon is super important also. will give you the gold you need for the titan artifact. It will give you gift of elements, and it will give you uh, also potions to level up your titan. So for me, as an account that has 11 months and I have spent probably around half million uh, emeralds in building up uh, these titans, you see the level of these titans, okay? There is nothing exceptional here. And probably they are missing probably another five or four months on dust from the Hydra heads to be able to level up. On top of that, if for example I decide to go with a uh, light titan, I will need to wait at least another nine months. So for me, the time where I would probably need to start level up Solaris, which will be my first light titan I will level up, we are talking about May or maybe later, right? So May next year, so in six, seven months. And probably for people who have not been playing more than a year in this game, I would say or two years, this titan is out of the scope because you first need to focus on the wild, fire and earth titans, okay? And trying to do it through uh, emeralds is going to cost you a lot. Okay, imagine like the equivalent of maxing out a titan, you know, like 750,000 emeralds. If you do this in an outland discount where open outland chest gives you sub coins, we are talking about like a lot, a lot, but a lot of uh, skins that you can do in exchange. Okay, we are talking about probably 24, 25 skins. So you will be able to build probably all the skins you need for maybe 10 heroes, okay, or building up one titan. Okay, this is the difference. The important thing here is always we need to understand that in this game, titans and the bridge, particularly when you go to global wars, is very important, it's very important, right? The same for global championship is very important because the titan is the entrance to the citadel. Okay, so you need to have a strong titan. But again, like maybe you spend 250,000 emeralds on building up one team or three heroes, the core of the team, of you build one weapon artifact of a titan, sorry, one artifact of a titan. So it's that expensive that I don't think it's worth it to spend emeralds, it's only wait. For titan, you need to wait, okay? This is a problem because if you fight against all guilds, like the spy may you have better heroes, you have set up better configuration of heroes, you will never will be able to win them if, you, if they appear with dark or light titans. Okay, so it will be like this for the next year and it's what it is. So. Hope so I help uh, answering you uh, all the questions related uh, to this detail. See you soon.